hello guys i welcome you to vmes for just limited where we design and build classic homes okay today uh, this is episode three on pi foundation the last time we came here we talked about the pit which is the pile integrity test and i promise that i'll be coming back to talk about the load test the pi load test that's the plt and before then i am pleased to tell you guys that our result is out for the pit pit result is out and i must tell you the essence of having these things done is to be at peace doing your job you know when you know that you're going through the right process it will make your work to be very very easy so we contracted the uh, bob penos they actually a certified engineering company that are responsible to run tests and all that so they came through and they gave us our results and uh, i'm pleased to tell you that our results are very wonderful we conducted the pile integrity test on the 76 points that we did here so each of these points averagely we have uh, between 17.5 to 18.3 or thereabouts that is the average that we have so this test results on each of these points we are grouped under different categories we have uh, from category a to category d and now uh, what it means is that from that category a it shows clear indication of sound shaft and pi toe reflection Why category d shows an indication of possible defects so from this our results 99 percent of the pi points we did passed through the category a which shows that all our pies are doing well like i told you guys before i said the idea is for you to know how your pies are doing on the net you need to know how your pies are the depths that those pies went to so from there any other thing you want to do it will be very easy for you to you know walk through and to continue what you're doing so it is very obvious now that our pies are okay so we move to the load test the load test result to is out i have it here too and uh, i promise to lead you through the load test and what the load test is all about so today um we'll concentrate more on the load test and uh, it's still the same company that handled the load test for us so the pi load test result revealed that our pies perform satisfactorily for the safe working load and not at ultimate load now the one of the recommendations that was given by the engineers was not to load this building beyond the original design so now this brings me to this part that i wanted to talk about about a major collapse you see you know in lagos now most clients will tell you okay uh, uh, since we did a very strong foundation we did piling uh, let us add one more floor this is one of the reasons why most buildings fell it is not because maybe they didn't go through the right process of doing the right foundation you must have done the right foundation but loading this building beyond the original design can cause failure. So now we have gotten the right process with this our test. So with this our test, we can advise our client properly not to load this building beyond the original design. We are going four floors and that four floors has to be four floors. So this is one of the advantage of having this test. So now the type of uh, load test we did, we did a compression load test. It's actually a vertical compression load test. Now, there are different types of load tests, but we chose this static test because it, is, it, it gives you the most accurate you know, result when it comes to the load. Because one of the aims, you know, the, the, the aim of this load test is to check the behavior of the test pie under the anticipated design load, right? So now, there are some equipment that we we'll use in you know, taking this uh, load test. We have uh, the reaction beams we have the primary and the secondary reaction beam we have the standard steel for anchorage we have uh, the hydraulic pump that hydraulic pump has about uh, 1000 bar capacity we have the hydraulic jack so now i'll just give you a little scenario of how this thing works we have the test pi and two anchor pies so these two anchor pies you know work you know together as we are doing this test so what we do is you you know use the hydraulic pump to exercise pressure as you're pumping as you're loading the building you load gradually so as you're loading the building one of the advantages of having this particular test is that if the two anchor pies are not properly done if they are not properly done they can fail as a result of you know that uplift force you know from you know exercising that pressure and load for that particular pipe point so if 
the anchor pipes are not properly done, they will fail. So this is also an advantage for us because when we did that, we also understood that our pipes did excellently well. They, you know, they reacted very well to the uplift first and it did not affect it. So this test result is very expensive. That is one of the disadvantage of having this. It is very expensive and setting up takes so much time to set up because of the high equipment that are involved. So with this, we have satisfied every curiosity for the testing that we are supposed to do here. So the next phase of work that we should be doing now will be talking about the pie caps. We will have to carry on with the pie caps. The next episode will focus more on pie cap to know what pie cap in test, how to do pie cap, the different types of pie cap that we have, the different sizes that we have for this uh, project. So I want you guys to stay glued to us. If you're not following us, you're on a long thing. So follow us for the next episode so that we will show you the step-by-step -step process of achieving pies foundation in lagos thank you very much and god bless you